see if this this works out. <laughs> yes. I so recommend if you ever have a chance going uh, through airport security with one of these. Every time. What is it? No, I don't know. Red gave it to me. All I know is it says for government use only. Yesterday, this is true, I, so I went through airport, I flew back from Indiana, and, uh, and the guy, the TSA guy, was like, what is it? And I was like, I don't, like, I was like, what, what's the joke you're allowed to, and I was like, so I was like, it's a mind control device. And luckily, he kind of overlapped or whatever, and then he, like, tested it for gunpowder or whatever they do. And then he looked at me and he was like, oh, it's fine. And then I just kind of stared at him and he went, unless it's telling me to say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it turns out, no joking about bombs, but joke as much as you want about science fiction weapons. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, telling some jokes while uh, playing the theremin. <laughs> Why is, uh, why is Nine afraid of Seven? Because mm -hmm. Seven ate a bunch of PCP and is going, ain't hey, shit! <laughs> <laughs> if you really dislike someone, if you really, really dislike someone, buy them a pony. Because you know what? Fuck you, take care of this pony. <laughs> Here's the situation in which I think it would be okay for me to hear Bon Jovi. Uh, kidnapped by aliens, I am terrified. I am looking through a window and a spaceship is flying away from the Earth. And they put on Bon Jovi and I'm like, alright, this is relaxing. I really want to make that make sense one day. This is a impression of me playing with the theremin's balls. This is, uh, whales having sex. <laughs> this is, uh, uh, this is a robot using a uh, restroom at uh, Willem Dafoe's house. He's, like, a little embarrassed. <laughs> This is bees at a party talking about Game of Thrones. Okay, uh, last one. Uh, this is me uh, e explaining uh, gay marriage to an alien. Um, the alien is from a planet where there are eight genders and it takes any three genders to create a new being. So marriage, gay marriage, the whole thing is baffling. And uh, we're, we're roommates. Uh, he got to Earth a week ago and I took him in and we're at Marshall's uh, shopping for home goods. We need some stuff for the house, sheets and stuff, you know, anyway. So I take you to Marshall's. Well, marriage, oh, no, no. I take you to Marshall's. So, uh... Well, marriage is basically when two people uh, love each other so much that they agree that if they ever stop, they'll do lots and lots of paperwork. Well, most states only allow marriage between a man and a woman because of the Bible. Basically, a really old, weird self-help book. <laughs> you know, it's a lot of stuff like how you shouldn't steal and how you have to have a beard and you wear a coat and how God is really three ghosts. 
You're right, that is a very big jar of marinated peppers. <laughs> sure, we could go by... Oh, hello. Oh, I don't, I don't work here. Sorry, sorry. No, no problem. Oh, hey, you got me all the time! 